Okay, a very good afternoon to all of you present here. My name is Sagrika and I'm a clinical instructor in the Shikuntla Basic College of Nursing Chamba. So today I'm here in front of you to give my presentation on the topic. That is impact of COVID-19 pandemic on domestic violence against women in India. So let's start with introduction. Domestic violence is a pattern of abusive behaviors by one or both partners in an intimate relationship, such as family, friends, and cohabitation. As you all know, the ongoing pandemic COVID-19 has already a tremendous impact on the societies and economic worldwide, affecting almost every aspect of life. Since the on onset of uh, pandemic, the idea that the lockdown measures introduced restrict the spread of COVID-19 has also increased the gender-based violence and domestic violence against women and girls has become a common concern. So let's move to the definition of the domestic violence. According to the Section 3 IPC, for the purpose of this act, any act, commission, omission, conduct of the respondent shall continue the domestic violence in case it harms, injures, endangers the health, safety, life, limb, or well being of the uh, aggrieved person, including physical, sexual, verbal, emotional abuse. Next, harasses, harms, injuries, and endangers the aggrieved person with a view to coerce her or any other person related to her to meet any unlawful demand for any dowry or other property or valuable security, or has the effect of threatening the aggrieved person or any person related to her or any conduct mentioned in the clause A and clause B is considered as the domestic violence case. Now, next is forms of domestic violence. So there are emotional abuse, physical, sexual, psychological, and economical abuse. Now, the domestic violence against women in India. So the phenomenon of violence against women in India within the, in, uh, with, uh, within the India is a very complex and deeply embedded. Women are subject to violence, not in the husband, but also from the members of natal and marital homes. Girls and women in India are usually less privileged than boys in terms of their position in the family and society. The National Crime Bureau, uh, according to the National Crime Reports Bureau, reports that majority of the all 4.05 lakhs cases under the crime against women are registered under the Section 498A of the IPC. In 2019, over 19 of the women out of every 100,000 across India experienced domestic abuse in some form. Next, let's talk about the statistical facts. So the prevalence of the domestic abuse against women across India from 2015 to 19, as per the 100,000 females. Yeah. So in the year 2019, the, da the data is 19.54. In 2018, it is 16.28. In 2019, it is 7.4. In 2016, it is 18.5. And in 2015, it is 18.78. Now let's we see that how domestic abuse grew since lockdown, uh, since COVID-19 lockdown. So the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on domestic violence against women. On March 20, on 23 March 2020, one of the most in sudden stringent and COVID-19 lockdowns in the world was imposed in India. The impact of the lockdown was severe in the certain sections of the population, including the migrant workers daily wage laborers and other marginalized groups, unsurprisingly, women and children facing the domestic violence. Now, let's ask causes of rise of domestic violence in the COVID-19 pandemic. So the reasons are, first is work from home, change in the family dynamics, for the sake of family, family dignity, economic crisis, movement restriction, increased in household duties. Next, 
according to the national commission for women that is ncw data shows that domestic violence complaints gets doubled after national wide lockdown imposed in india ncw registered that increasing 2.5 times of complaint of domestic violence in april 2020 the ncw received 1477 complaints between 25 march to 31st may 2020 Tamil Nadu police also reports that there is increase in domestic violence complaints they receive approximately 25 calls every day during the lockdown period and registers registered at least 40 such cases similarly the bangalore police reported a spike of complaint from 10 calls to 25 calls every day over 2300 domestic violence complaints were filed under national commission for women between january to may in 2021 Most of the complaints were received from UP, while the highest complaints rate was recorded in Delhi. Now, let's see the statistical facts. Nature-wise, reports of the complaints received by NCW in the 2020. So, there are ACID attacks cases are 11, cyber crimes against women are 704, dowry deaths are 330, gender discrimination, including equal rights to education and work, that is 11, sexual assault cases are 110. Sex selection abortions, female feticides, minor sentences are eight. Harassment of married women, dowry harassment are three thousand seven hundred eighty-eight. Outraging modestes of women, uh, molestations are sixteen thousand six hundred seventy-nine. In combination with this, trafficking and prostitution cases of women are forty. Voyeurism are one hundred forty-four. Sexual harassment of women at workplace are two hundred one. So the total cases are seven thousand twenty-six. Now let's we talk about the domestic violence against women in Himachal Pradesh. So the cases of the domestic violence are on the rise in Himachal Pradesh with the state 8.3 percent cases as per the National Family Health Survey in 2019 uh, to 20, as compared to 5.9 cases recorded in NFHS 2015 to 16. Most of the incidents reported were acts of spousal reporting. There is a higher incidence that is 8.7 percent crime. in the uh, rural areas than in urban areas so in the past 5 years four murders 23 abetments to suicide 35 cruelty to women cases have been registered in the chamba district in 2019 a total of 461 complaints is monitored in the district so there is a charitable trust in the chamba district that is known as Juga, uh, jagori rural charitable or jagori gramin dharmshala so this uh, this is a service uh, service provided under the protection of women from domestic violence The organization runs four nari adalats in Chamba district, one nari adalat in Chamba district. According to the Jagori report, there are 15 cases of domestic violence are registered in the year 2020 during lockdown in Chamba, Himachal Pradesh. So next is the why women tolerate the domestic abuse because of gender inequalities, children future or threat, family pressure, economic uh, pressure, uh, and death uh, threats by the abusers, societal stigmas. Next, we talk about the domestic laws, domestic violence laws. So, laws against domestic violence under the PWDD Act, that is Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act, two thousand five. There are the following rules and order in this act. So, first is right to live in a common household according to the section seventeen, uh, protection order from any act of domestic violence section eighteen, residential order section nineteen, monetary relief section twenty, custody orders section twenty one. Compensation orders, section twenty-two, cognizable and non-bailable offence, section thirty-one, punishment of one year imprisonment or fine up to twenty thousand. Next are the measures to fight against domestic violence. Raise your voice against domestic violence. Talk to friends and relatives about it. Take the help of NGOs and police. Take the help of the Protection of Women Against Violence Act, two thousand five, and contact to your protection um, area officer. And register DIR. Victim or can also go directly to the magistrate. Call for the helpline that is one zero nine one or one eight one. Now, what are the societal roles to fight the domestic violence? Stop stigma. Educate the female child. Support the victim. Do not discriminate the victim and facilitate the victim to take the decisions. Now, I summarize my topic. So here, I summarize and conclude that how COVID nineteen pandemic spikes the domestic violence cases against women in India. So, according to the statistical data from the year 2015 to 19, uh, when compared, there is the abrupt rise in the domestic violence against women cases in year 2019 in India. But lockdown worsens the scenario. In 2019 to 20, there is a rise of uh, violence against women in Himachal Pradesh, the district Chamba. There are 15 cases of domestic violence, according to Jagori Rural Charitable Trust. 
So domestic violence is a dangerous and deeply embedded in all societal system as it adversely affects the health of women too. So at last, I just want to say that becoming a victim is not a choice, but becoming the survivor is. Thank you and have a nice day. Yeah, sure. 